Well, coming up in this machinery special, I jump behind the controls of an old Alice Chalmers HD5 track tractor. And well, we jump in behind it and do a bit of cleanup work in an International Hydro 85. Well, after being sitting for 10 years, we get the old Alice Chalmers running. And after freeing up a couple of stuck injectors, she's put back into service. G'day guys, I've got a real treat sitting behind me at the moment. It's an old Alice Chalmers HD5 track tractor. We'll crawl a tractor. Now this has a 2V71 series engine. So this is a screaming Detroit diesel. So it's two stroke, supercharged and two cylinder. It's a fun mega machine to play around on and yeah, come check it out. Well guys, before I crank the old girl up, I thought I'd show you around the controls and what they do. So you got your two steering levers here, which you use in conjunction with your two steering brakes down here. Now this is your clutch. You pull it back to engage the clutch, push it forwards to disengage. Now, this is your throttle level here. Pull all the way back, that's full throttle, all the way forwards to shut her off. You got your kill lever down here. You got your throw starter down here on the old girl. You've got your gear stick here. Now she's got uh, reverse and four forward speeds. So this thing really motors, it gets along pretty good. You've also got your controls here for lowering and raising your blade. So um, yeah, she's a pretty neat old girl. But without further ado, we'll crank her up. We'll try to anyway. See what happens. Give her a bit of throttle.
I've had a blast driving the old Alice Chalmers HD5. It's a fun piece of old kit to have a go on. Really cool old bulldozer and a very distinctive sound from the old 2V71 series Detroit Diesel. And got a smile from one end to another after driving that old grill. What a lot of fun. Let's check out the next toy we've got on the list. Well, guys, I'm sitting here in the International Hydrated 4. Now, it's hydrostatic drive, so instead of having gears, we've got the variable speed lever here, which does uh, backwards here, forwards, and you can really finely adjust your speeds. And I've got my throttle control here on the right. Uh, down here on my right-hand side is the uh, loader controls here. And then, of course, you've got your high and low on my right, uh, left-hand side here, and things like my PTO controls and three-point linkage up here high on my right. So it's a really neat tractor, loaded tractor. Just being able to vary those speeds and things very finely is quite neat. So we'll crank her up and uh, yeah, we'll see how she goes. Show you what the dog girl girl does. Here we go. Just being able to pull that lever forwards here in low range, just being able to move off and you can just turn it right down. So you can just turn the lever till it barely even creeps. So you turn it, see how slowly we're turning it as wheels right now? You can be so precise with this tractor as a loaded tractor. But at the same time, give it a bit of throttle. Throw it forward to start driving. And of course you've got your high and your low range as well. It's a very neat tractor.
Well, would you look at that? Quite a bit different from when we started. Between the old Ellis Chalmers bulldozer and the hydro, they've done quite a good job of clearing this up. And that International Hydro 85 is a pretty nice tractor to operate. No graunching gears as you're trying to go backwards and forwards. No slipping cutches and doing things like that. It's a very nice tractor to operate. Well guys, I've had a blast doing all this cleanup work and showing you around some of the old gear. Till next time.